Hi everybody, I'm streaming from the virtual studio I use for the news of my channel and I'm going to explain in detail my new project. Many people wrote to me asking how to build the controller I made uh, some Hi, time ago, uh, but I can't do Lino. that because uh, it has a hardware and a software a little complicated and the tutorial would be so long. And so I decided uh, uh, to, to make uh, this tutorial about a new project. And the new project is a wired uh, four channel tally lights for vMix. Before the tutorial, let me say some of my opinions about a tally light system. First of all, for many reasons, I don't like uh, the Wi-Fi tally lights. Uh, for example, if you have the cameras at a long distance uh, from the control room, and if you have some walls uh, between the cameras and control room, uh, the Wi-Fi signal uh, could have some problems. And the uh, second reason is that uh, if you have uh, a Wi-Fi system, you must give uh, the, um, the power to the box over the camera uh, with uh, the batteries. And I don't like batteries. I don't want to think if the batteries are charged or not, uh, if I must uh, change the batteries and so on. And uh, the, th the third reason is that in any case uh, you must have uh, uh, some cables because you must receive the signal for the camera and you must give the power to the camera. And the second opinion uh, is that um, uh, the, the talent in front of the camera, the talent on the stage, doesn't need to, s to know uh, which camera is in preview. So in my system I don't consider the, the preview on tally light because I think that uh, everything the, the talent needs is to know which camera is on air in that moment and nothing else. And the third opinion, I, I, I saw in the internet many projects about tally lights with a single LED uh, uh, in the boxes. I think uh, uh, that those uh, projects are made because uh, uh, a single LED with Arduino is uh, simple to build. But I think that, uh, again, the talent on the stage needs to know which camera is on air in that moment and to see, and to see a bright, a big light, uh, like for example this one. This is my project, this is a box on the camera. And uh, the, the lights uh, are bright and, uh, and big. Uh, and so I think uh, this is a big, uh, big help uh, for the talent. Um, anyway, these are just my opinions and you can do what you want. Okay, now it's time to introduce uh, my project. It is a box uh, with four connectors uh, for the lights, uh, a connector to give the power to the system, one green LED uh, to know that the system is switched on, and four pre cable red LED uh, with the resistor inside for 12 volts uh, to control that the system works uh, in the correct way, and an US port. Inside the box, uh, there are a power supply with an input the AC voltage of your country. I'm in Italy, so I have uh, 220 volt AC and 12 volts DC on the output. And the power supply must can give 3 amperes. There is an Arduino Uno and an unit with a 4 relay for Arduino. That's all. And here you can see how I assembled everything. The power supply, the Arduino, the relay unit, the LEDs and the connectors. And you can use the connector you want, uh, the only important side, it, to respect uh, the polarity. I use XLR connectors, but you can use uh, what you want. Now the connections. Arduino is connected to relay unit uh, in this way. 
The ground of Arduino is connected to the ground pin of the unit. The 5 volts of Arduino is connected to the VCC pin of the unit and four digital pins of Arduino are connected to the input pin of the unit. In Arduino I connected uh, the pin uh, 3, 4 and 5 and 6 because uh, the, the pin 1 and 2 are dedicated uh, uh, to RX and TX data. So pin 3 of Arduino is connected to the input pin number 1 of the unit, the pin 4 of Arduino to input 2 of the unit and so on. Before to show the output connections, uh, let me say how the relay work. When the relay is in a rest position, the connection is between the central and the left contact. But as soon as, uh, as the relay receives uh, the command from Arduino, it's excited and it switches uh, between the central and the right position. So the connections of the output are these. The negative polarity coming from the power supply is in common with all the negative polarity of all the connectors. The positive polarity coming from the power supply is connected to all the central contacts of the relay and the right contact goes to the right polarity of every single connector. So when the relays receive the command from Arduino, it switched on the tally light of that channel. Now the sketch for Arduino. I use the simple digital firmata, but there is a little problem, so the sketch needs uh, to be modified. The problem is that the relay switch on when it receives a low status from Arduino and it switches off when it receives an high status, but we need that the rays uh, work in the opposite way, so the sketch must be modified in this way. Go to row 46 and add an exclamation mark before current pin value. In this way, low status and high status are inverted and the system will work in the right way. Let me show now the vMix settings. They are very simple. Click on Settings and Tally Lights. Here you can decide which pin assigned to Arduino. As I said, I don't use the preview light, so the value is zero for all the tally number. I assign the active pin 3 to tally number 1, the active pin 4 to tally number 4 and so on. Now click on the settings of the single input, select tally light and select the COM port of your Arduino and the tally number. I select tally number 1 for input 1, tally number 2 for input 2 and so on. Now your system is configured to work uh, in the right way and you'll see this. If I select uh, uh, input number one, there is the tally light number one switched on. If I select uh, number two, number three and number four, everything works correctly. And uh, important, if I select, for example, input 1 and uh, I apply a transition fade, for example, you can see the lights are switched on together until the transition uh, is completed. Okay, if I cut, just uh, I cut.
I was forgetting the front of the, the box. You can see four LEDs uh, to control that everything was in the correct way. So in this example I have a camera input one and the telelight one is switched on. If I select uh, and, and LED one is switched on. If I select two for example you can see number two number three and number four and if I select an input without any tally lights, uh, for example the last one, this one everything is switched off the box over the camera is very simple uh, it has uh, two lights uh, these lights uh, I found uh, in internet uh, in uh, Amazon and they are used for trailers and uh, there is a, a connector uh, for the input to get the power and there is a, a little connector here to connect a, a single uh, little LED to put uh, inside the viewfinder of the cameras not all the cameras uh, have a, a big viewfinder uh, and in that case uh, the cameraman can see the, the, the light uh, uh, from this box. If the camera has a, a little viewfinder uh, you need to put a little uh, red uh, LED inside the, uh, the viewfinder. So this is its connector for that. Everything is in parallel in this box. Well that's all. I hope uh, that the tutorial uh, uh, is uh, useful and uh, if you have uh, some problem don't hesitate uh, to, to write uh, in the comments uh, so I can answer to your questions. Uh, thank you for watching.